Merhaba sevgili öğrenciler, kanalıma hoş geldiniz. Bu dersimizi dinleme sınavı için pratik yapacağız. Yeni sınav sisteminde dinleme metinleri oldukça önemli. Bu video sayesinde pratik yapma şansını yakalayacaksınız. Öncelikle metni bir bütün halinde dinleyeceksiniz. Ardından metni ikinci kez dinleyeceksiniz ama bu kez hem dinleyip hem de soruları cevaplamanız gerekiyor. Bu videonun cevabı, video ile ilgili bütün pdf'ler, ayrıca işlediğiniz her ünitenin konu anlatım pdf'i kanalın katıl kısmında olacaktır. Katıl kısmına üye olarak yazılımlarla ilgili birçok dokümana ulaşabilir, ayrıca her ünitenin konu anlatım pdf'lerini indirebilirsiniz. Bu videoyu izledikten sonra cevabınızı yorumlara yazmayı unutmayın. Dersimize başlamadan önce sizinle çok mutlu bir haberi paylaşmak istiyorum. Justin Akademi uygulaması artık App Store'da. Play Store'dan ve App Store'dan ücretsiz indirebileceğiniz Justin Akademi uygulamasını kullanarak yazılarınızdan yüz alabilirsiniz. Bu ders anlatımı boyunca süper teşekkür etiketini kullanarak kanala destek olursanız oldukça mutlu olurum. Birinci dinleme metni üçüncü üniteyle ilgili olacak. Metni tamamen bir bütün halinde dinleyeceksiniz. Dinleme metni geliyor. When I look back on my childhood, I feel great. My friends and I spent most of our time playing marbles or hide-and-seek. Weekday evenings were reserved for sports. I used to play basketball every evening after school. I keep the tradition going, but I play tennis now. I used to listen to rock music all the time. My routines were very important to me as I was a creature of habit. Every morning, I would eat two eggs and would not leave the house without drinking my honey milk. My parents were very strict about the whole family sharing the chores. Metni bir bütün olarak dinlediniz. Şimdi ise ikinci kez dinleyeceksiniz ama bu kez hem dinleyip hem de soruları cevaplamanız gerekiyor. Dikkatli olmayı unutmayın. Sorular ve metin geliyor. Question 1. When I look back on my childhood, I feel great. My friends and I spent most of our time playing marbles or hide and seek. Weekday evenings were reserved for sports. I used to play basketball every evening after school. I keep the tradition going, but I play tennis now. I used to listen to rock music all the time. My routines were very important to me as I was a creature of habit. Every morning, I would eat two eggs and would not leave the house without drinking my honey milk. My parents were very strict about the whole family sharing the chores. Question 2. When I look back on my childhood, I feel great. My friends and I spent most of our time playing marbles or hide and seek. Weekday evenings were reserved for sports. I used to play basketball every evening after school. I keep the tradition going, but I play tennis now. I used to listen to rock music all the time. My routines were very important to me as I was a creature of habit. Every morning, I would eat two eggs and would not leave the house without drinking my honey milk. My parents were very strict about the whole family sharing the chores. İkinci dinleme metni dördüncü üniteyle alakalı olacak. Metin geliyor. Stephen William Hawking was born on 8th January 1942. He is considered the most brilliant theoretical physicist of all time. Stephen Hawking was a British cosmologist and author whose books helped to make science accessible. Stephen William Hawking studied physics in 1962 at the University College, Cambridge, and in 1966 in the Trinity Hall, Cambridge. His contributions in physics are unparalleled, which often left other scientists scratching their heads. Professor Stephen William Hawking holds 13 honorary degrees. At the age of 21, he was diagnosed with ALS, motor neurone disease, which left him unable to move and speak. Konuşmayı bir bütün halinde dinlediniz. Şimdi ise ikinci kez dinleyeceksiniz. Bu sefer hem dinleyip hem de soruları cevaplamanız gerekiyor. Question 1. Stephen William Hawking was born on 8th January 1942. He is considered the most brilliant theoretical physicist of all time. Stephen Hawking was a British cosmologist and author whose books helped to make science accessible. Stephen William Hawking studied physics in 1962 at the University College, Cambridge, and in 1966 in the Trinity Hall, Cambridge. His contributions in physics are unparalleled, which often left other scientists scratching their heads. Professor Stephen William Hawking holds 13 honorary degrees. At the age of 21, he was diagnosed with ALS, motor neurone disease, 
which left him unable to move and speak. Question 2. Stephen William Hawking was born on 8 January 1942. He is considered the most brilliant theoretical physicist of all time. Stephen Hawking was a British cosmologist and author whose books helped to make science accessible. Stephen William Hawking studied physics in 1962 at the University College, Cambridge, and in 1966 in the Trinity Hall, Cambridge. His contributions in physics are unparalleled, which often left other scientists scratching their heads. Professor Stephen William Hawking holds 13 honorary degrees. At the age of 21, he was diagnosed with ALS, motor neurone disease, which left him unable to move and speak. Beni dinlediğiniz için teşekkür ederim. Sınavlarla ilgili bütün dokümanlar ayrıca her ünitenin konu anlatım PDF'leri katıl butonunda olacak. Oraya üye olup bunları indirmeyi unutmayın lütfen. Cevaplarınızı bu şekilde kontrol edebilirsiniz. Play Store'dan ve App Store'dan Jasmine Akademi uygulamasını ücretsiz bir şekilde indirebilirsiniz. Bu videoyu beğendiyseniz beğenmeyi, yorum yapmayı ve arkadaşlarınızla paylaşmayı ihmal etmeyin. Hepinize şimdiden başarılar.